back again to another episode of the Riverside Council with me, your host, Dabrina Nyanga. Remember, you can get us at our social media handles, Facebook and Instagram, Riverside TV KE. Watch us at YouTube at Riverside TV Kenya. You can also SMS us or call us via the number passing through in your screen. So today I'm joined by, by a very amazing guest over here and we're going to talk about dealing with low self-esteem. So welcome to our show. Thank you Introduce so much. yourself. Yes, welcome. This is your boy Washington, an art director okay. and a life coach simple as that. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so today we're going to be talking to Washi about dealing with low self-esteem. So what exactly is low self-esteem? Mm. Now, <laughs> when you speak of low self-esteem, I think it is important that people get to first and understand uh, what is self-esteem. And you know, uh, I define it the, in a way that um, it is the subjective evaluation an individual has towards themselves. You're getting it? Yeah? Yeah. Uh, so basically, it's just a belief, a lower belief about who you are and what you're capable of doing. So when you're speaking of low self-esteem, it means somebody has, uh, has no confidence over what they do, or how they view themselves, or how they perceive themselves. Mm -hmm. So it's just generally a perception, mm -hmm. a low perception, or lack of confidence on who they are or what they can do to the society. Mm -hmm. You're getting it? Yeah. Yeah. So does it mean that maybe mm. if I have, I do not have courage or maybe perhaps confidence in what I do, yeah. do I have low self-esteem? It could be, but you know courage and confidence are two different things. Mm. You could have courage to do some other things, but you could have no confidence in doing something. Mm. So courage is something that is, uh, is built on or that is just contained within you. But confidence is, is a perception based on a belief system. You know, um, we are all wired towards decisions. Mm -hmm. So each and everything that we do in life emanates from our decision-making process, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're, if you're not confident enough, you're not able to make wise decisions. You're getting mm -hmm. But we can build so on our courage, on what to say or anything else, but decision comes from our confidence. Okay, so decision comes from our confidence. Yeah. I understand that there are some causes mm -hmm. that result to one having low self-esteem. What are the possible causes that results to that? Well, there are so many causes. Huh? Mm -hmm. um, uh, first, it also depends on the, uh, a relationship between somebody, how we relate with one another. Mm -hmm. For example, if you treat me badly in, um, in terms of, uh, of response, uh, if you keep on poking me, and I don't like you poking me, I would resent to that. So what do I do? I lower down my confidence. So when I lower down my confidence, that means I'm alternating my what? My esteem. Mm -hmm. So I'll not be able to uh, communicate effectively with you. So my self-efficacy will lower down. So uh, relationship will always determine the kind of uh, confidence a person will have. You're getting up. Yeah. Uh, when you also perform poorly, that is lack of competence. May, may, be, may it be in your work environment, in school environment. Let's say, let's take an example of a school. Uh, if I'm performing poorly, there are those days that uh, we used to call top 10, yeah. the first top 10 and the last top mm -hmm. 10. Yeah. So the people who were mentioned as the last top 10 were lowered, lowered their standards. Mm -hmm and then their self-belief dropped down. That means their confidence dropped down because of the shaming they were getting. So this shaming aspect is what now develops the, the lack of confidence in an individual. Mm -hmm. So once you develop lack of confidence within yourself, you definitely drop down. Mm -hmm. You're getting up. Huh? Yeah. So uh, you've said about the top 10, the first, the uh -huh. leading team, and you know the one from behind. Mm -hmm. So like, there were those schools, mm -hmm. actually, there's, I, th I believe there still are those schools that the first top 10 are set in a certain group, then again 11 to mm -hmm. 20 in a certain group, yeah. then the last. Is that really helping? Is it a way of helping these kids like who don't really perform to come up, or it's just a way of diminishing them? Uh, if you go by the Africanism way of doing things, mm -hmm. it is meant to motivate them to do mo more, much better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not realizing that kids or any individuals have also built perceptions 
on how the environment they are in or the space they are in will determine how they respond back. So if I feel like I'm being shamed based on my results, I will definitely have two choices. I might decide to present the same process and uh, fall down, like drop my confidence, or I might make a decision to overcome the embarrassment by doing better. Mm -hmm. But most of the time what happens is we resent back. Mm -hmm. We drop our confidence because uh, we feel like we are not needed. Remember we said it, it's, uh, it's the value we place upon ourselves. Mm -hmm. Self-esteem is all about that value, the self-worthiness an individual has. Mm -hmm. So once I don't feel that self-worthiness within myself, mm -hmm. I just fall down. Mm -hmm. I drop it. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. So the relationship, we've said about the relationship that we have, yeah. Yeah, can result to us being, mm. having that low self-esteem. Yeah. So again, mm -hmm. the company we keep, mm. you know, perhaps maybe you're in the company of, you know, they call them Barbies and you also want to reach to that level, but you know, mm. perhaps maybe you're too poor for that. Mm -hmm. Can company actually affect you? Is it, do we really expose ourselves mm -hmm. to this, to being affected? To our self esteem Definitely. being lowered. You know what I keep telling people? If you hang around with dogs, you get fleas. As simple as that. Birds of the same feather just flock together. So if I'm working in a group of guys who are so con uh, self confident um, amongst themselves, uh, I am able to develop that confidence as to the environment or the personalities that are around me. You get it? So it's a self inflicting aspect based on the people you are hanging out uh, around with. So if I'm, 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 I'm hanging around a group that is debilitating or suppressing the kind of confidence that is in me, people who don't believe in me, people who don't appreciate what is good in me, they see me as a downfall. Definitely, I will have that low self-esteem. You're getting But if I hang around people who are so energetic and positive in life, I tend to uplift my self-efficacy. -eff you're getting yeah. it's as simple as that so teams and individuals environment will always determine the kind of confidence you have as an individual okay i understand that sometimes maybe we have that positive environment you see mm -hmm. that maybe your friends don't even see you as poor but mm -hmm. just from within i mm -hmm. feel that i do not fit they actually appreciate you the mm -hmm. people around you appreciate you but now th you just bring this from within yourself that i do not fit in this place but no one really hates you in that place can sometimes low self-esteem be resulted to us personally? We are the ones actually who, you know, who stir up exactly. the self-esteem. Uh, uh, in the beginning, I said it's all about a belief. Mm -hmm. A belief is an, a, an aspect of who we believe we are based on our references and past experiences. You get it? Mm -hmm. So if I, I have that contention that I, as a person, I am not worthy or I'm not valued enough, it will not be it will it will definitely be affected by how people perceive me you're getting so people might think i am good or i am worthy but when i as an individual do not feel it i will not expose it to them you're getting you might say oh this guy is cool and all but yeah i have to feel it so it's, it's an aspect of conscious awakening mm -hmm. it has to come from your cons consciousness you have to fulfill the need for yourself that I am actually worthy doing something or I'm valued or valued in this world. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's all about self-belief. It's it, it actually starts with you to build up your esteem and your confidence. Mm -hmm. So what are the signs of, of actually knowing that this person is suffering from low self-esteem? Well, in a group of uh, young boys uh, or girls, you will be able to detect somebody who has low self-esteem through the aspect of uh, the actions they, they take in a group. So uh, if I'm uh, hanging around you all the time and I'm not able to express myself to you, uh, you'll be able to tell this, there's something wrong with this kind of a person. Uh, unless the person is introverted, like that is their nature, they want to do something on their own at a certain corner, uh, they will not open up to you. 
they will always hold back. If there's an activity that people are supposed to do together in a team, they will only, always again hold back. Uh, they will not uh, show the need to drive any form of action or decision. You getting me? So you, you just need to look at uh, uh, an individual on how they relate with you or with a team. And with your, you're able to spot it very fast because they will always hold back because they feel they are not worthy of being in a certain team. So they will not show up. If there's an activity that's supposed to be done, they will still hold back. You get it? Just like when you, when you, when you call kids, with, uh, uh, you tell me, hey, come we play and you see one kid holding back, like they feel they don't fit into the niche of the kids that are up around them or they want to do something, they always hold back, mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, you know, we've talked about kids and all that, so perhaps mm -hmm. even in marriages or even, you know, grown-ups, mm -hmm. sometimes you don't want to express <laughs> yourself to your partner. So, like, okay, yes, fine, we discuss something, mm -hmm. but yeah. I'm not really, mm -hmm. like, we say that we want to do this, you know? Mm -hmm. So what's your view about that? No, it's fine, it's just You know, okay. relationships are all different kind of things. Because mm -hmm. uh, it's based on an, an individual and that communication and all that, but it also affects others. Mm -hmm. You get me? Yeah. So if I have been communicating to you as an, an adult and you suppress my communication to you, mm -hmm. I'll definitely feel like I'll have no confidence to communicate. Mm -hmm. The next time I would want to communicate something. So I have been affected. It could happen consciously or unconsciously without you knowing or knowing me. You know, sometimes we do things as grown-ups without knowing that we are affecting the other person. Mm -hmm. For example, we could be talking and I make some nasty jokes about something that you, you really feel is of much concern to you, but I take it as a joke. So what does that do? Next time you want to come up with something that you want to say to me, you will suppress it. And the more you keep on suppressing such thing or such decision in you, you lower your self-esteem. Then you're not capable to communicate effectively as an individual. Okay. So it is all round, mm -hmm. yeah. So mostly we can say that actually that communication mm -hmm. actually can just, the way we communicate, you know, as persons. Yeah. Like my non verbal communications and just by communicating yeah. can result to me making you have lower self esteem. Definitely. Actually, it's a major leading cause of a low, uh, a low self esteem. Because mm -hmm. uh, we react, human beings respond to stimuli. Yeah. Our responsibility comes from responding to stimulus. So, uh, in relation to how I receive and perceive information mm -hmm. around me, will determine how I'm going to react and the decisions that I'm going to take and, and, and the action that I'm going to take, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so communication actually can result you to having a lower self-esteem and you've been told that it's all about self-belief. It starts with you for you to create up your self-esteem. So we'll be going on a break and we'll be right back. Just keep it here, right, at the Riverside TV. Welcome back. Remember, we are still talking about dealing with low self-esteem. So our social media handles, Facebook and Instagram, Riverside TVK. You watch us at YouTube at Riverside TV Kenya. You can also SMS us or call us via the number passing through your screen. I believe you're also getting more advices from here as we are talking about low self-esteem. So, uh, I was we continue about this. Is it recommendable for one to distract themselves, maybe by reading articles, you know, that motivate them? Mm -hmm. Is it actually advisable? Because I believe that maybe some may be reading these articles only for a period of time, no? Mm -hmm. After maybe I've read this today and I feel that I'm so confident, I'm so encouraged. Mm -hmm. Then tomorrow again I meet up with the same group again. You know, yeah. um, uh, it takes time to build what you call confidence in an individual. Mm -hmm. So you can't take an, 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 an instant of motivation to build on your confidence. You see, when you read a positive article, once you get that uh, euphoria mm -hmm. of like, oh yeah, I'm good, I can do this, I can talk, to you, you, you get that? Mm -hmm. It's an aspect of you are, you are reacting to a response of whatever that you've read. Mm -hmm. But it does not really cure the exact uh, problem of confidence if it's not put into practice. You're getting, huh? Eh? So confidence is an aspect of building 
in terms of practice what you do as an individual. If you are short of, uh, if you feel short of making decisions, you need to practice the aspect of making decisions. You get it. If you feel like you're not good in uh, goal setting, you need to practice the aspect of goal setting. Even though reading is the process that leads you to you discovering yourself that you need to improve on what? On your confidence level. So it's part and process mm -hmm. of developing your confidence. Okay, so yeah. uh, aside from reading, I'm mm -hmm. supposed to practice yes. that particular uh, mm -hmm. thing that I feel lowers my mm -hmm. self-esteem. Yeah. So uh, we have a text from mm -hmm. Isaac Omtelema. He's asking, <laughs> how can one gain self-confidence? Ah, there are so many ways that one can develop the self-confidence. So I will basically put it in four dimensions. That is uh, mental, uh, emotional, uh, spiritual, and social life. You're getting? Mm -hmm. So when we come to mental, it is the same thing that you were talking about, um, reading positive articles or materials that will now develop your awareness of who you are and the competence of how things are supposed to be done. You're getting. Once you get that knowledge, you're able to build on your confidence because you are now aware. You're getting. The Bible says that we should seek to understand how things work, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> so self-awareness, it's all uh, self-esteem is also just just the same thing. Mm -hmm. So when you read positive articles or materials, you are now seeking. You are now in the process of understanding how things work. Mm -hmm. And once you understand how things work, you're able now to build on what we call now the confidence mm -hmm. as an individual. Mm -hmm. You're getting. Yeah. Emotionally, on the other side, it's how you relate with situations in the environment. You're getting. Uh, we say not uh, the things that happen to you does not really matter as much as how you respond back to them. So once you are able to control your emotions and get to understand that what is thrown to you does not have to affect you, but how you respond back to them, how you react to the situation conditions will actually define the kind of person you are. You get so again this will still take you back to the first aspect of what creating awareness to yourself mental awareness you're getting up yeah? uh, spiritually it's simple as that just nourish yourself spiritually uh, read the Bible sing praise dance you're getting up yeah? yeah. so you devote yourself to the Lord and uh, Biblia will understand you devote yourself to the Lord and you also he also lifts you up you become strong Kama kawaida, sindi yo? Physically, you can do it by um, building muscles mm -hmm. to yourself. You can exercise, you can dance, you can uh, dress nicely. Mm -hmm. You see, also yes. dressing yes. nicely yeah. also boosts your self-esteem because you'll, uh, you'll get compliments out there and you will want to keep that aspect of getting the compliments once and again and again and again, you're getting where a nice smile will walk out there. Uh, a smile will always uh, glow on people's face and warm their heart. So you try, that is the physical aspect. Uh, exercise yourself so that at least you feel that your body feels nice, uh, you look nice, dress up nicely, wear a good smile. Okay. Yeah. So in short, you do not have to go about seeking help from hospitals like you know, psychiatrists and all that. You can actually do this yourself, right? Eh? Uh, exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. So you can. Even though uh -huh. it could be detrimental to your health if it's not taken care of, uh -huh. you're getting stage, at an early stage. But mostly for 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 underage uh, kids, uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Mm. So we can build our own self-esteem. I hope you've been answered. Yeah. So is it possible for one to go through this process mm -hmm. of obtaining, you know, that self-confidence mm. alone? I understand that you've given us the remedies, you know, physically, spiritually, emotionally. Definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. You see, this is something that you just need to make an, a self-initiative as an individual. Mm -hmm. uh, look at the areas that you feel incompetent enough. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, if I feel like I'm not good in writing, mm -hmm. what do I need to do to, uh, uh, to improve on that? Mm -hmm. I practice the skills of writing. If I'm very poor in the aspect of communicating, I need to put in some uh, time and dedicate myself in learning, the process of learning how to communicate effectively with people. Mm -hmm. So during that process of learning, 
you also now start gaining the confidence slowly, but slowly, a bit by bit. It's a gradual process. Uh, if you fear being around a group of people who are so smart, also try to put yourself into that group mm -hmm. you're getting, mm -hmm. so that you also see yourself in that shoe you're getting. Mm -hmm. So it's just an, it's an in, 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 in initiative that an individual needs to initiate by themselves. Because mm -hmm. most of the time, human beings don't like being told what to do, unless you are an actor mm -hmm. or so, an, 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 uh, someone who, who does an artist, uh, you get it, yeah? Mm -hmm. Because uh, they will value what you tell them, but most human beings shun down every aspect of being told to do something. Mm -hmm. So, but if you make it an individual effort, mm -hmm. it definitely works. Okay. Yeah. So that brings us to the question that Stephanie mm -hmm. Mumbua is asking: Is mm -hmm. leaving the group that lowers my self-esteem a solution? Yeah, definitely. Okay. But it, it also depends on how. Uh, group that you are in, if you feel like they are not worth you being valued uh, with them, mm -hmm. you can leave. You get it. Mm -hmm. But if that group is, is a group that can make you become a better person, mm -hmm. then you stick to it. You have to swallow that mm -hmm. and try mm -hmm. to get to the level. You know, sometimes uh -huh. we are told that you have to face your fears. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So if I leave the group, I won't be facing my fears? It depends. I said it depends with the kind of group that you want to leave. Okay. If it's a group that is challenging you to become a better person, mm -hmm. you have to face your fears and swallow it and stick with the group and try to improve yourself so that you can raise your standards mm -hmm. in the, to get the standards. Mm -hmm. You get it? Mm -hmm. But if it's a group that is suppressing your value or your worthiness, mm -hmm. you have to uh, uh, bite the bullet mm -hmm. and leave the group since they make you feel awful. Mm -hmm. So you have to leave it. Okay. Yeah, because you, by you being there continues to suppress the confidence in you. Yeah. So you just have to leave and find other means of that will make you feel better. Okay, I understand that sometimes maybe, you know, if someone is feeling a bit stressed, you want to talk to someone. Mm -hmm. They say that when you talk, you let it out, at least okay. you feel that it's solved. So perhaps I realize that I have a low self-esteem, maybe due to something. And then I go about at least seeking advice from people. But the more I seek advice from the them, more you, it, yeah. you know, it lowers down. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, that is why the, most of the time it, you, you, you are advised as an individual uh, to look for people who, you will, who will understand your concern. Because not everybody will understand. We say you, you, we need to seek first to understand before you are, we are understood. Mm -hmm. But if I feel that my needs or my wants from you are not answered to the level that will make me feel satisfied, mm -hmm. then I will walk away from that and look for somebody who will understand my need mm -hmm. once I express them to them. Mm -hmm. So if your brother is not taking it positively, mm -hmm. try your mother. If your mother is not taking it positively, try your father. But uh, again, it also depends on how they will understand you and how also you will express yourself towards that situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So um, sometimes, actually, it's still just about this, you know, gaining the self confidence. Mm -hmm. Is it right, you know, in, or to what extent actually mm -hmm. does it make one not to seek now, you know, medical help? That yeah, when 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 it's get to, when it gets to the level of anxiety and depression. When you start feeling depressed about how you feel about yourself, you definitely need now to seek help. Because mm -hmm. now uh, uh, that is a level that uh, is affecting you, your health, mm -hmm. health-wise. Because mm -hmm. you don't feel worthy at all. And you don't feel of any value at all. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it breaks you, it torments you, it tortures you as an individual, mm -hmm. it lowers everything in you. And uh, once it gets to that level, you really need to seek help from um, a health practitioner mm -hmm. or somebody above your pedigree. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we've got a text here from Beta Kadehi. Mm -hmm. She's saying that I once fell into depression mm -hmm. out of having low self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Does it really happen that? What actually is what really is depression? You see, the consistent, the consistent and uh, aspect of feeling low about yourself, and then it occurs again and again and again and again. It really suppresses your emotion. 
You know, human beings, we are all wired through emotions. You get it? So what we do is based on how we feel for ourselves. So when you are depressed, it's basically because there's an aspect of emotion in you that has been pushed down to your limit. You get it? So all an individual needs to do is raise your standard and create new beliefs within yourself that you are better if you are feeling you are not worthy, that you can improve if you feel you cannot improve, that you are wired differently and uniquely from other individuals. We are all different. You see, a dog can be nothing else but a dog. But human beings are capable of changing and transforming. You're getting it? So every human being has that potential and power within themselves to tap into and transform and overcome the challenges of low self-esteem. Okay, so you have the power actually to overcome this low self-esteem. Mm -hmm. So your final remarks as we wind up, just with the advice that, you know, those who are having low self-esteem should be doing with their lives. Human beings are wired in form of decision-making. And decision-making is based on uh, pain and pleasure. Most of the time we run away from the things that bring pain to us. And we go towards the things that gives us pleasure. And that is the basics of decision making. All that is wired again on our belief system. Our belief system is entangled to the, our environment, perception, and the references of how we've been brought up. So whenever we feel low about ourselves, all we need to do is raise our standard and eliminate our limiting factor of that, that makes us feel low um, within ourselves and believe that we are actually capable of becoming more than powerful. So it's a self-initiating aspect that we as individuals need to practice. Through the four dimensions that I said, mental, emotional, spiritual, and social. That means even the group that you're going to keep as an individual really needs to determine how you are going to be as an individual. So if you keep a positive social group, you end up boosting up yourself. If you keep reading positive material, you get, you become aware, you build on your competence, you're able to build on your confidence. Uh, spiritually, uh, devoting yourself, uh, deep yourself into uh, prayer and supplication, seeing dance and all those aspects, you're getting. Physically, get out there and do something. Especially if there's something that you've been procrastinating for a very long time, it is high time you start doing it little by little as you climb the, the, the stairs a step at a time. And socially keep a positive social cycle. As simple as that. Keep a positive social cycle. You have the capability to move yourself to another standard of life. Don't lower your confidence and you can actually do it. So thank you for joining me here. It was a great time having you. Do have a very blessed night ahead.